Hi everybody, I'm Eric Briel from IndyYucatan.com and today we're going to talk about a serious topic. It's called hurricane preparedness. Now we are in the season of hurricanes and you know there's a lot of uh, talk going around. What should you have ready? What do you need to prepare? Well here we're going to talk about what you're supposed to do. So let's get started. According to the government list, you're going to need to have uh, several items, the first of which is water, enough supply for three days. For three days, you're probably going to need about 10 liters of water, which is about one of these jugs right here. So there's two people in our house and plus our dog, so we're going to have an extra bottle for the dog, so don't forget about getting water for your pets as well, because it's not just for the humans, your animals also need it as well. Next up, you should have non-perishable food enough to supply uh, each person for three days. So we've gotten uh, several things like your cup of noodles, your salting crackers, we've got granola bars, we've got uh, beans with uh, rajas and charros, we've got cream mushroom soup, and also a very, very good staple, tuna. Tuna is great, it's a great source of protein, it's really good for you, and it's gonna provide enough nutrition for you until the stores and everything gets opened back up after the hurricane. Next, the government does recommend that you have a flashlight, a working flashlight, and also a extra set of batteries or enough batteries to go on if case uh, that day you need to supply somebody else's flashlight. Because it's always good to have extra supplies around because you never know if you need to help your neighbors out. Always keep a little bit extra just in case uh, to give that little kind gesture of help. So if you don't have a flashlight, the best thing to do next is to get candles. Now candles, they're a dime a dozen around here, very affordable and obviously matches, you're going to need those. Now matches serve double purpose, both for providing light and also helping you stir up your barbecues. Uh, if you need to cook outside, great thing to have matches around. So finally, they do also advise that any medication that you need, uh, if you're on uh, heart pills or uh, any kind of uh, diabetes medication, make sure that you have all those prescriptions filled out and enough maybe to go to at least the end of the month. And as well, you know, the uh, common uh, items such as uh, some sunscreen, some bug spray, toothpaste, shampoos, anything that you're going to need to survive while the facilities, in the case of a bad emergency, have gone out. Last but not least, yes, our pets, our lovely pets, we can't forget them. Make sure you have their leashes with you. Make sure you have any bowls, any food that you need for them. And as well, for yourself and your own protection and your safety, any important documents like your passport, if you have any cash, make sure you have uh, any uh, information regarding your house, your residency, have all the documents you need to secure yourself while the hurricane is happening and so you can continue on life after the hurricane is over. Okay, and where does it all go? Wonderful blue box. Best thing, a made bin, throw it all in, put the seal on, put a tape cover over top of it, and you're ready to go. You're prepared for your hurricane. So thanks very much for watching. Get yourself prepared. It doesn't take long. I went today, it took me half an hour at the grocery store. It was easy. So thanks very much. See you next time in the Yucatan.